Welcome to Flavors of New York. I'm Lala. We are at B&H Dairy. Today I have the distinct pleasure to be at B&H Dairy, which is on 2nd and between 7th and 8th? Is that where we're Seven at? 7th and 8th. And I have to say I've never been in here before, and I walked in, and the energy in this tiny long space is just like, you can feel it, right? It's just so absolutely New York. This is Ola. What's your last name? Your Polish last name. Oh, Polish. Pol Miguelski. Miguelski. And I'm Lala Zimski. So, Zimski. so we are Polish person to pull. I love this. And then we've got Andy, who is PR for B&H. You're going on 80th anniversary? Who wants to talk about that? Over. Uh, I think it's over 80 years. Like We're like at 82 or 83 because it opened in 1938. So... And that's, I mean, that is a huge testament to how popular this place is. And Ola, you and your husband, so you're Polish Catholic, your husband is Egyptian Muslim, and the two of you have a kosher <laughs> Jewish <laughs> restaurant, <laughs> which know. is just like absolutely so New York. It's such a melting pot. And when did you take it over? Uh, yeah, that's that's funny. When we got it, the rewards um, for the BNH was uh, a lot of customer there, and they laughing because yeah, Muslim and uh, Christian and Jewish restaurant. <laughs> but this is a, a American love story. Aww. So we meet here, and uh, we are so much fun to be together, and then. We just been together and get over to the restaurant. Like Fauzi, he was the owner, and I worked across the street. Okay. So he was my regular customer. And how how long have you owned it? You and uh, Fauzi. You fall in love, you never count the years and the minutes. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so cheesy. I love that's it. a Polish. <laughs> Polish language. I love yeah, it. I, you know, I have the MS, so I I don't really good with the with the date, but pretty much long time. Okay. Fauzi got it pretty much long time. So I, um, he just meet me across the street, and, and this is I just moved across the street to him. And I mean, speaking of a love story, people love this place. There's all different types of people. There's young people. There's old people. There's hipsters. I mean, you all are getting everyone. What do you think? Why do you think that is? What's the draw? Um, it's like a family restaurant. Uh, the the staff is uh, gets along very well. It's a lot of fun. You just sit at the counter and watch the staff. Not only they speak four languages behind the counter, but also it's great food, um, comfort food. So, you know, people love coming here. Plus, you can, you can sit at the counter so you can have dinner by yourself and not I be lonely. I think it's hard now to find it like a really small dining mm -hmm. place. It's a lot of place now. They change the fashion and the new style. So our rabbi say, don't touch the lamp. Don't touch the counter, and the table must be the same thing. So we keep it as is. Yeah, it is true that places like this in New York are like kind of disappearing, and this is—it's yeah. such that a vibe. Don't change a thing ever, yeah. please. Yeah. Yeah. Such a vibe. And Since he's he's here, I'm I'm not allowed to change anything. <laughs> just new fridge because the other one was like almost 60 years old, so she was just dying by salt. So this is, but still he come, he pray, and he like it's very nice ceremony with that. And let's talk about the food. The menu is huge. You have specials every single day. You've got breakfast. So you, if you might be slightly hungover like I am, um, you know, eggs, omelets. You have a famous hala French toast yeah, from the If you are first time in B&H, you have to try French toast first. Oh my goodness. This is like a, you, you know, nice step for our menu. French toast and chocolate pancake. Hala French toast. Hala French toast. And you were saying how many loaves of hala are made here a week? I think they make about 600 loaves a week. Is that right? I think a little bit too much, but per month, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. 600 per month, yeah. And so you've got griddled things, you've got bakery foods, you've got hot and hearty, you've got tons of soups, you have stuffed sandwiches. I mean, this menu is everything you kind of want, right? Yeah, it's hard decision when you come inside and you have the special and then you see somebody eat French toast and you're like, no way, I have to try French toast. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty much funny when you sit next to each other and you see somebody eat uh, something else and then you start to feel hungry and you have your own food. So this is nice when you, next time when you stop by, you get a French toast, a la French toast, you got a uh, pierogi, blintzes or whatever else. I feel like I yeah. would feel comfortable sitting here 
by myself. This is one of those places where I would feel comfortable sitting solo. So I love that. Um, I think it's very important that we treat customer uh, as home. Uh, it's not like we uh, give them like uh, no help for the choose. So we try to help them to choose and at the same time what is good for them. You're so sweet. That spirit, yeah. I feel like when you come inside, I feel, yeah, I feel this part. When she come inside, I was like, <gasps> this is the blood, Polish blood. In the Polish place. blood. <laughs> Kindred spirits. We could be sisters. I love it. So you're also known for your matzo ball soup, correct? What's your, what's your favorite thing here? Uh, well, I love the vegetarian matzo ball soup. Uh, I love the blintzes. I love the tuna melt. Everybody loves the tuna melt. Okay. Uh, and for years and years and years, what do you get? Eggs? Oh, with uh, oh I cheese used to always get a, um, no, egg and cheese on a toasted bialy. Sounds That's perfect. Really good. This is butter, how I ended Buttered toasted bialy. All right. That was like my breakfast sandwich. That was your thing? Yeah. For years, right? So I'm Polish. I think we should have some pierogies. Is that cool? Of course. And we're going to have some blintzes as well? Yes. All right, let's the, do it. The fashion for the blintzes, like back home, my grandma, she just make it the dough and rock it up. Okay. Because we was like a couple of grandchildren, so she just give it to us and say, get out of my kitchen, I'm busy now. <laughs> But here, all after all these years, like almost 30 years after, I came to B and H, and I see they fried them. So, so they're fried like blintzes. Oh. So we got the textural aspect. No, this is better than your grandmother's. Yeah. Better than her grandmother's. <laughs> yeah, they picked my grandmother first time when I just saw them, like because the cheese is hot. Okay, I'm you know? very excited. And she put cold cheese. Just the dough was hot, so, and this one is a little bit crispy, so when you... I'm salivating, I'm yeah. ready. Oh, look at that! <laughs> but people also do the, the, you can do boiled pierogies too, which yeah. are like yes. more like dumplings. Yes. You know, the texture, they're softer. If you um, don't like hurt so much. But yeah, these are the, the blints. And you oh have these with sour cream. Did you hear that? Since 1993, he is here eating, so it's 30 years. This gentleman always chili with brown rice. You can imagine, and we just wait for him when he come and he say, "Baba, the same thing." He say, "Yes, the same thing." So this is like, it's not only customer. We know what they like, and yeah. we welcome them every time. That right? is so beautiful. <laughs> Flavors of New York was here two years ago, and that was COVID times. Yeah. And no one could be in the in the restaurant. You were surviving off of what takeaway? Takeout? How did how did you get yeah, through? Pretty much, pretty much only takeout. But was a lot of people on the online. They send us uh, some donations, some orders, some t-shirts, extra. So you know, and I take the loan to survive because BNH is worth it. And the community and really pulled through. Yes. Like Andy, you were yes. saying you did a lot of crowdsourcing. We did, we did a crowdfunding campaign. So between the crowdfunding, between eventually doing uh, delivery, and also various grants and loans from the city and organizations that helped support restaurants that were suffering, they made it, but it was tough. And then you really also tough. just recently released an amazing t-shirt that says, Hala Por Favor. Yeah, that's, that's been around for a while, but, it was oh, okay. in the, it's, but the thing was, it's in the New York Times today. Oh, see? That was the thing. But well, yeah, it says Hala Por Favor because uh, B&H makes their own Hala, but many of the guys here speak Spanish. Uh, also, if you order order like a soup, someone's gonna go holla, blah, blah, blah. you know, like we need holla right now, you know. That, so they, that's what they say behind the counter. So it's a restaurant call, but yeah, it it's also call. talks about the melting pot that is this restaurant. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's like something you actually hear behind the counter. I love it. And um, yeah, some people love the shirt. What an absolutely fun New York shirt to have. Yeah, and we sold up at least 2,000 since 20. Come get your shirts, 15. people! <laughs> hala before and hala after. This is we bake here, as you see, right there. It's mixing the top and do to do. Grow up. That. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this is the matzo bowl soup. Delicious. First time when I saw her, I said, What is this? Ball? You know, noodles I recognize some kind of chicken, but without meat, there was something new for me when I just came from Poland. All right. I'm gonna dig into these blintzes, right? <laughs> yep. You yeah. have a little, a little sour cream. Okay, that. so. A little sour cream. Sour cream on top. Yeah. I can already tell that this is gonna be delightfully crispy. Yep. I like oh. meat. Oh! Yeah. Do you hear that I like sound? Meat yeah. Okay, all right. And. 
Yep. Is it dessert? Is it breakfast? Is it both? Yes. <laughs> the sour cream, the mm. sweet cheese, but you can also mix together. Oh, so it's and so That's going to be like between sour and sweet? Yes. With the I think you need both because then it's not too much of one thing. Andy? Oh, oh. Mm. Andy? I, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm like grandma. Like I feel mother. it. I'm like grandma. When I see my customer say, "Hey, you have two more spoons. You're so blessed." <laughs> so good. All right, and yeah. you're going over there for some pierogi. Oh. What's inside the pierogi? That's surprise, actually. This One, is oh, spinach, I love it. This is spinach, spinach and feta. Yeah. Okay. Fresh spinach. Yeah. How Greek? Yep. Yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's interesting. And what, what's in the others? Uh, like potato. potato. So potato. Should I just cut into it? And, and uh, sauerkraut with mushrooms. Of course, the same cheese we use it, but only farmer cheese. We don't mix with the ricotta or this kind of crazy thing. So that's the this is only farmer. Yeah. So this is farmer cheese. Oh. Yeah. See the steam and the flaky. Yeah. This looks. And uh, so potato cheese, sauerkraut mm. with mushroom, and spinach with feta. You can also get them boiled if somebody gets hurt in the stomach. You can get them boiled, mm. but the crispy one is the. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, indeed. <laughs> okay, I've had. She's like, how did you put some poly <laughs> <laughs> so good. My grandfather would be so proud. I want to try some another kind as well. Yeah, you can just drop it like this. That's now it. I'm just getting greedy over greedy. here. All right, oh, you got the, the spinach. You got the spinach. Oh, so you Delicious. can just try the spinach. Yeah. Slather that. A nice little, uh, is there like a little vinegar or something in uh, there? No, spinach. Oh my squeeze god. It. And we put some uh, potato and some uh, onion. It's okay. fried onion. So homey. Yeah. It is so it's got like a nice Yeah, that's why the spinach is fresh. It's not. It's not uh, like from can or frozen. Yeah. No. It's so that's why when you squeeze it, it's cold outside. And this is what I want to yeah. be eating right well, that's here. That's the thing. Yeah. You know, because I like I said, I do them Instagram, and it's always like. I know it's a rainy day, so I get, get your tukas over to uh, b &H and have, you know, a bowl of soup or a plate of pierogies or a knish, you know. Mm. And then we have two beautiful soups in front of us. Mm -hmm. Matzo ball. Vegetable. You're very vegetarian friendly, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Very vegetarian, yeah. Yes, also we have uh, something new they call... Uh, uh, fresh flounder. Okay. It's really fresh flounder. And uh, salmon, pig salmon. Like a, like so a dinner like a thing. Dinner. You get it on the grill with vegetables mm. and rice or whatever. Uh, this, is, this kind of thing is too new. It's fresh. We don't use uh, like a frozen. People love it. The fresh People fish. Love it. I can't yeah. stop eating the pierogies. Just like <laughs> with, their, with their white fish sandwich. The, oh, the white fish are delivered a whole fish. Mm. Whole smoked white fish oh, on ice in a box. Like they make everything from scratch. I love that. There's no can. That's gotta be why everybody loves this food. I'm gonna show yeah. you so something good. what I learned from here too. As I see from the customer, that's why. I'm yeah. going into this matzo ball, Ola. <laughs> Jeez, you guys. That's potato pancakes. How have I never been here before? This yeah. place is crazy good. Mm. I know a woman that's lived in this neighborhood for 50 years and she's never had matzo ball soup. Really? I'm like, how can you live in a uh, Ukrainian like neighborhood and never have matzo pancakes? ball soup? I didn't get it. You know, it's but mine. it's true. Oh, that's yours. So, are these for us? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This one, um, like I was seven years counter. old. Uh -huh. When my mom first time, they give us like a big plate. So um, my grandma, when she, go, when she left to work, my grandma, she put sugar. So, at the same time we feel it, but at the same time candy, because it's sugar in the top. So when I come here, they use sour cream and apple sauce, but I still eat my way with sugar. With sugar? Yeah, she, I, I see her do this, she has like a treat in the yeah. afternoon. Because yeah. like, so like around this time they're less busy, so that's when I come. Again, yeah. so crispy. And you can get a, you can get a latke on an egg and cheese on a challah sandwich. Like they stick one in the middle. Did you guys hear that? Hala egg and cheese with a potato latka on it. Yeah, that's a, that's my hungover dream right there. Well, actually, there's a guy comes here. He goes by the the uh, mm -hmm. Instagram handle NYC Food Guy, and he made up the sandwich. I mean, I think other some folks probably have done it before, but he was a big champion of that for like years and years and years, like well over ten years here. So we named it after him. So it's the New York City Food Guys. Uh, Latka Lover's breakfast sandwich. But he mentions like it's great for a hangover. 
I mean, so it hits all the hits all the notes. I don't realize how popular online here all the kids from NYU students. Hey, can I get a tuna like sandwich? I said okay. Online, eight o'clock in the morning for sandwich, five sandwich. This is the kid, like you know. So it's it's kind of great idea for the laka sandwich. Everything nice. is Could so good. you also good. do like a with grilled cheese with an egg or a hollow? Grilled cheese or with two eggs. Yeah. You can, whatever, listen, whatever make us, yeah, whatever make with, you happy, we make eggs. it for you. Right, it's grilled cheese with fried eggs? Grilled yeah, cheese with two scrambles, over easy, over medium. So when you so, fry, this is like open the eggs, it's kind of nice. Comfort food, crazy. Yeah. I feel very comforted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm extremely comforted right yeah. now. Yeah. There's mac and cheese? And macaroni yeah. cheese. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> see, you have to mm. try. Yeah, I like that it's really creamy. You can, you you know, can see like, that. I think yeah. I'm gonna be polished next to you too. Ah, why not? Mm -hmm. You can smell first. You can fall in love for first time. Really, I fall in love with first time. Well, I mm. can't leave without having a bite. I am gonna have it to go, but I gotta have a bite. Because I feel like falling in love, in the words of Beyonce. Said, oh yeah. Hola. Why are you Close my new eyes. best friend? Like Make a wish. All right. <laughs> and, and Hugo is back there simultaneously making the hala. So, <laughs> smell the cinnamon, I smell yeah. all this. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Okay. But you know the taste is like a, you feel like a small girl when you just get it the first bite. <laughs> like a small girl in love. Yeah, I got a big bite. Love. I'm gonna shove this in my mouth. <laughs> I am in love. I am in love with B and H. That's delicious. I can see why that's so popular. Oh my God, that hollow hollow. This place has everything. There's breakfast. There's soups. There's daily specials. There's sandwiches. I mean, everything that's coming off that griddle is insane. The pierogies, the potato pancakes. <gasps> I am in love, and I'm in love with B&H. If you have never been, you must come. If you have been here before, then you already know. I'm so happy. I am so, like, look at this. Thank you both so much. Sure. Andy, you're yep. amazing. Ola, my I, family. As much, uh, as much as I live, I keep the b &H the same way, and the tradition, and with big love. You know, because this is um, unbelievable, you know. And it shows, absolutely. Yeah. They are closed on Mondays. Come visit. Thank you so much for having Metro Car me. Too. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm more than welcome and we're always waiting for you at b &H. Oh, I'm coming me back. and all the crew and Hala in the kitchen. I'm coming back. For Flavors of New York, I'm Lala. Come to b &H. Bye. Love you.